love seekers. I know of your task. I know which object you are to seek out and protect. I know who is and isn't a seeker. You may not even realize you are next. Let me see. Ah, yes. Before I tell any more, I will share with you ideas you may not have known of or even comprehend. You are a seeker, one of an original set of 2538, but now, sadly, of 538. I still know who was to seek out the lost object, and the fates they have met or will meet. A seeker's job is to find an ancient item and protect it with their life. Some of these objects may corrupt the minds of those who should wield the item. Some will bring new knowledge to those who are not ready. Some will bring about their demise or even drain them of their life. You are a seeker too, and now it's your time to seek me. I am the holder of seekers. My object will give you a knowledge none are supposed to have. To find me you must go to the closest church or cemetery you can walk to. When you speak to the priest at your location, Ask him these words exactly. Father, I have come to seek guidance from the holder of seekers. He will understand your request and show you a part of the area you may have no of. He will lead you down a dark staircase. It will seem to bring a deepening fear and sadness. But remain vigilant and brave. You are safe in my realm. I understand your request. Do not worry. Once you reach the Chamber of Illusion, you will find a pedestal with a stone cross on it. You may take it, but only use it to unlock the truth of the chamber by inserting it into the wall opposite of the stairs in the indent in the marble wall. At this point you have reached my dimension, and the priest is gone. So are the stairs. They have been replaced with a long corridor. You may no longer leave. Your fate is sealed. Enter the corridor and you should hear on your left angels singing hymns and on your right demons cursing their fates. If for any reason you hear it, vice versa, remove the cross from the indent and walk through the corridor. If you still hear the sound inverted, place the cross and pray that your death is swift. If, however, you successfully make it through to my chamber, open the doors and walk ten steps inside, you may ask me only one question safely without releasing the demons within yourself. This question is, Who seeks them? I will then describe to you in great length all the false seekers who try to change their destiny and what they were met with. If you are still conscious and sane, I applaud you. Not many are true seekers like you who can survive such accounts. After this I will hand you a scroll written in a strange language you are not accustomed to read or even accustomed to any humans who ever have, do, or will exist. Do not read this scroll until you seek out the one with the true sight. He is to read my scroll. My scroll is object number 540. In the wrong hands the world will be destroyed by the darkness within the objects. Oh, and you can tell your best friend. He's next on my list.